Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. So in chapter 9.1, we will be learning about two particular type of curves, as you can see on the screen over here. The one of which is in the form y equals to ax to the power of n, and the other one would be in the form y squared equals to kx. So the lesson objectives for this chapter is to recognize the graphs of curves and their properties, find the intersection of a curve and a straight line, and understand the basic transformations of a curve. Okay, so let me just explain how um, this curve is supposed to look like, okay, depending on how the value of A and the value of N changes. Okay, so in the first case where N is negative, when N is negative 1 and A is greater than 0, the curve will look like this. Okay, and in the second case, whereby n is negative 1 and a now becomes a negative number, as you can see now, a becomes negative number, then the graph will reflect along the x-axis, okay, along the x-axis. So, the graph has just been transformed because the value of a changes from positive to negative, okay. So, in... In the case of the first graph, okay, let me just give you a tangible example of how the graph can, may look like. So if A is a positive number, A can be 2, for example, okay, and then N is negative 1. Okay, so the graph of Y equals to 2X to the power of negative 1 will look like this, okay. What happens if A becomes a bigger number? Say, for example, now the graph becomes Y equals to 5X to the power of negative 1 then the graph will now look steeper. So I'll use a different color. I'll use a different color to show you how the graph will look like now. Something like that. Okay, so the graph will, will become steeper. So this red graph is the graph of y equals to 5x to the power of negative 1. Okay. So in the next few slides, I will show you how the graph will change when the values of n changes and I will also show you the graph for a positive and a negative. Just take note that the graphs for a positive will always be a mirror reflection of the graphs of a negative along the x-axis. So let's look at another example. So now when n is equal to 0 and a is positive the graph will look like this okay so this is the blue line that you see over here okay how about when a is negative it is a reflection along the x-axis and now the graph becomes a negative blue line over here so let me give you a tangible example so in the first case the graph can be a sorry y equals to 1x to the power of 0 for example and anything to the power of 0 is just 1 so this is just 1 Okay, so this point will be the point 1 along the y-axis. And in the second case, since a is negative now, let me give a tangible example. So let's say a is negative 1, x to the power of 0. So this is just negative 1. So this point, which is where the graph cuts the y-axis, is negative 1. Okay, okay, move on. So when n is 1 and a is positive, the graph will look like this. And when a now becomes negative, the graph will just reflect along the x-axis. Okay, so there's still quite a few more graphs to go. What I will do is to show you one by one. For those that require extra explanation, I will pause. If not, you know, I will just uh, flash the graphs. Okay, this is a graph that probably is a li little bit more familiar to some of us. This is what we call a quadratic graph. So for example, y equals to x square okay will look like this okay and when a is negative so for example y equals to negative x square then the graph will look like this okay move on so how about when n is 3 then this is what we call a cubic graph so the graph of y cube y equals to x cube sorry will look like this and the graph of y equals to negative x cube will look like this Okay, Okay. so at this point in time, maybe let me just give you some examples of how the graph can be transformed. So for example, now I want to sketch the graph. I want to sketch the graph of y equals to 
of y equals to 2x cubed, for example. So now the graph will look steeper. So the graph is going to look like this. So the general shape of the graph remains unchanged, okay? But because A has increased, the graph will look steeper now, okay? And what if, and what if I were to, and what if I were to change, I were to add a constant behind the graph? So for example, y equals to 2x cubed plus 1. Now this red graph, as you can see on the screen here, will shift up by one unit because of the constant one. So now the graph will look like this. Okay, so the general shape remains the same, but the graph has shifted up by one unit. So previously it cut the y-axis at zero, now it cuts the y-axis at one. Okay, okay, I hope this example helps you understand a little. Okay, so what about when n is half and a is positive? Then the graph will look like this. And when a is negative, the graph will look like this. So what does, what does, um, what does n half represent? So for example, n is half, so x to the power of half. And we all know that anything to the power of half is just the square root. Okay, so this graph is essentially y equals to root x. And this graph you see over here is y equals to negative root x. Okay, what if n is one third, then the graph will just look like this. And this is probably the graph of y equals to x to the power of one third. And this is the graph of y equals to negative x to the power of one third. Okay, so let me just remind you that the graph you see on the right hand side is a reflection of the graph in, on the left hand side along the x axis. Okay, so the second type of graphs that we will learn in this um, chapter is in the form y square goes to kx. So when k is positive, the graph will look like this. And when k is negative, the graph will look like this. So realize that this graph, this sort, this type of graphs is slightly different from the previous forms. Okay, the, remember the previous form of graph we were learning is the form y goes to ax to the power of n. So in the second form, when a changes from positive to negative, it will be a reflection along the y-axis now. Say again, along the y-axis. Okay, so just take note. Okay, so just to summarize, for this chapter, all the graphs that you need to know are on the screen, as you can see now. I would strongly suggest you um, take out some paper and, and take this down. This is important. Okay, and we have just two more on the second slide. Okay, thank you for joining us in this video. For more tangible examples in this chapter, please watch the next video. And for more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. Thank you.